Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why you may be interested in the Blackmagic Design Intensity Extreme. Now what this is, is a camera interface um, that connects via Thunderbolt to your Mac laptop or desktop. Basically what this is going to do is take an HDMI in and send that HDMI signal directly to your uh, system, whether it be a desktop or laptop. Now, this does not require any power. It's powered fully by Thunderbolt, so all you need is this unit here and the Thunderbolt cable. Uh, this unit runs for roughly around $300. Uh, it is a little expensive, but there are some reasons why you may need this, and I'll show you some of the top reasons why I use this. So uh, first, let's get started. Plug this guy in, and then I'll show you um, how it works. You basically just do Thunderbolt right to your computer. Next thing you want to do is uh, use HDMI. Now this is a 15 foot HDMI cable and you plug it right in here and that's running over to my GH4 uh, over here. So basically we're going to see the feed coming out of here right into the laptop. Now you do have to install just a bit of software, Blackmagic Media Express. So we're going to launch that. Go ahead and kick on the uh, camera here. We'll go full screen on this guy. Now, what we want to do is we want to go into our preferences and we want to make sure that our settings here are going to match our camera. And I believe we're at 2398 right now. And here is your capture file format in case you want to actually record on the laptop. And that's a great reason to get the Intensity Extreme here. So if we go to Login Capture, uh, we can see our uh, camera interface. Now, you can't really go full screen um, with this window here but this is designed for you to just uh, log and capture from the camera itself. So, number one, you can record onto your computer system here. You don't need a beast of a computer because all the processing is actually being done on the Intensity Extreme. So, uh, one reason why you wanna use that is, let's say you don't have an Atomos, you can actually record a clean HDMI feed right to your computer system. In fact, what I've done before is uh, connect another Thunderbolt drive to this system and just record directly to that Thunderbolt drive so I'm not filling up the hard drive space on my system here. So that's a good reason. Uh, over the weekend, we shot 4K on three GH4 cameras. The 4K was recording directly to SD cards. And while all three cameras were recording 4K to the SD card, we were actually outputting full 1080 back to a Blackmagic switch and we were recording that feed. So we had actually uh, lots of redundancy there. So we had recording in the camera, 4K, and recording 1080 from each of the cameras back to a switch. So if you don't have uh, an Atomos, again, you could run your HDMI over to a laptop and you could record that. And again, you'll have that redundant feature there. So uh, that's kind of a quick look at the, the media interface that allows you to log and capture from your camera. Tip number two. This is Wirecast. This is software that YouTube or Google Hangouts uses that will stream your camera directly to the internet. Now, we've had uh, some questions before about doing uh, some, some conferences or conventions that want to live stream out to YouTube or do a Google Hangout. You can use your camera for that, so you don't have to be stuck with webcams or USB webcams. You can actually use professional camera systems. In fact, um, you can add multiple cameras to Wirecast and you can actually switch and live stream at the same time. Now you're not going to get full view again, but this will allow you to stream directly from your camera out to the internet. So that's another really good reason why uh, you want to use something like the Intensity Extreme here. And um, the next thing I'm going to show you is my favorite reason why you would you'd want a camera interface to your computer. This is Scopebox. So this software right here is a, uh, there's a free demo, but it's just 99 bucks. Basically what it does is it turns your laptop into a professional monitor. Um, now, if you're looking for a very large screen to take out in the field, something with high resolution, good color, runs on its own battery source, and you have a laptop, then you can use it. All you need to do is get the Intensity Extreme and you pretty much have a professional portable monitoring monitoring system 
The great thing about using your laptop as a monitor as well is the color that you see coming from this monitor is pretty much what you're gonna be editing with. So it's, it's very accurate to bringing it from the camera to your editing without seeing something totally different. So in order to add it to a scope box here, we have a, a source. So I'm gonna add a new live source, which is the intensity extreme here. And on the palette is your settings for the source. We need to make sure that we're matched up with our frame rate, which is 1080p, 2398. Now we have our uh, window here. So the cool thing about Scopebox, as opposed to some other software, is you can actually scale. You can actually add different types of uh, waveforms. So if I wanted to add a um, RGB parade, I can have that in there. And then if I wanted to add a uh, Luma histogram, I have my histogram over here. So very cool. Now, if you really wanted to um, use your computer as a monitor, we can bring this up into a new window. And now that this is separate from the tabs that we have behind us here, we can go full screen and you have yourself a really, really accurate monitor. Let me send some uh, video feeds over. Uh, actually, forget the overlays. One of the cool things about Scopebox here is let's go into our, our palette. So let's view our palette settings. We can actually, on our view, add focus assist. And we could choose the color of our focus assist because we have white, blue, and red. Maybe we'll choose something that's kind of green. Um, so there you go. I've just added focus assist. I don't need to do overlays from my camera. I'm seeing it in here. Now there's a ton of other features in Scopebox I'm not gonna get into that right now. You guys just uh, download it yourselves. Let me hide my palette settings. Let me go full screen again, and you'll see what I'm looking at right here on my uh, GH4. I can actually see where I'm focusing. So we'll focus on the red, now the blue, and now back to the white. Now there are some other cool features in Scopebox that allow you to record what your camera feed is. Um, I found that kind of clunky. I prefer the Blackmagic application for that. But as a monitoring solution, this is probably the best software I've seen out there. Um, highly recommend it. But in order to get your camera again to interface with your computer, you're going to need the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. Um, so that is a very quick look at some of the things you could do. One other tip, if you plan on using your computer as a monitor out in the field and you need to get some shade, uh, I'm gonna show you guys something from Seaport Digital. Uh, let me get that set up right now. All right, so here it is. This is the Seaport Digital case. Now, I think you guys may have seen it before, but I just wanna remind you that this is uh, an awesome case. Actually, Seaport Digital has a number of different cases available um, depending on what you want to use out in the field but basically what it is it's a they have cases that open up into um, kind of like a sun hood and that's really important when you're working outdoors uh, the reason why we started using stuff like this is we would bring an EVF out to the field do a couple of shots but when we got back to the studio and, and we watched the footage over again sometimes we're missing focus sometimes it's not as uh, sharp as we think it was um, and that's because we're working off of focus peaking from a tiny little screen and, and that doesn't always work out. So it's a good idea to bring out a very large monitor sometimes so you can rewatch your playback or maybe even help you when you're doing uh, focusing. So right here again, I could focus by just looking at my screen. Very clear, very high resolution, very good color. But still, again, we can play back on this monitor. Now, we use cases like this, Seaport Digital. It's got a sunshade here, so you can totally cover up if you need to. This case particularly has a tripod mount zipped up underneath here. So if you unzip this pocket, there's actually a threaded mount here. So this goes right on top of a tripod, so you actually just use a tripod as your uh, stand as well. So um, there are doors on the side here, and that allows you to run your cables. Uh, but let me break this down so you see how the case looks on its own. Uh, there's a strap here to make sure your monitor laptop stays safe. I'm just gonna disconnect this Thunderbolt. Close this up here.
So there's a lot of Velcro. Everything kind of folds down. I'm not gonna do this nice and neat for you guys. But basically, it folds up into a travel case and uh, it's got some extra pockets so you can put uh, you know, some of your equipment back, back in here and then just travel with it. And uh, here's a look at some of those sliding doors uh, to run your cables through. So very cool stuff from C4 Digital if you plan on using your laptop as a field monitor. Again, one of the benefits is that, you know, this, this item here may be about $300 or, or so, but what you get out of using your laptop as a monitor is very high resolution, very good color, um, and you're getting a screen size that is much bigger than any field monitor out on the market today that's going to offer you portable battery power, um, give you the waveforms and, and scopes and RGB parades and all that other fancy stuff. So definitely look out for the intensity extreme to tether your laptop uh, and camera together and then look for cases from Seaport Digital uh, to make it easier to use your system out in the field. Uh, so any questions about this stuff? Um, let me know at cheesycam.com.